ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் ஈவினிங் ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் முகாம்பிகா நர்சிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி கேன் சி ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டார்டட் ஒன் செட் ஆஃப் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ரிமைனிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வி கேன் சி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ டிஸ்கஸிங் ஒல்லி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் வி கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் patient complains of pain and has redness with swelling at the site of iv the nurse must options option a start nasal oxygen option b stop infusion and remove iv cannula option c apply warm moist pack to the redness reddened area option d change iv tubing and the solution here the question is a patient complains that he is having pain redness with swelling at the iv infusion site so what action does the nurse should take and the correct answer is she should stop infusion and remove the iv cannula option b is the correct answer sir move on to the next question question number 27 a refrigerated breast milk should not be used if it is beyond options option a 1 week option b 2 weeks option c 2 months option d 48 hours a refrigerated breast milk should not be used beyond 48 hours option d is the correct answer move on to the next question the reflex action of the toes are indicative of abnormalities in the motor control pathways leading from cerebral cortex is options option a a romberg test option b babinski reflex option c patellar reflex and option d achilles reflex question is which reflex action of the action is indicative of abnormalities in the motor control pathways leading from the cerebral cortex it is babinski reflex option b is the correct answer move on to the next question question number 29 example of autosomal recessive inheritance options option a craniofacial disorder option b cystic fibrosis option c hemophilia and option d skeletal disorder autosomal recessive inheritance is cystic fibrosis option b is the correct answer move on to the next question question number 30 the characteristics of leukemia rubra is options option a yellow white option b bloody with fleshy odor option c fall odor option d pink brown with flesh odor our question is the nature of leukemia rubra is leukemia rubra is red in color it is from starting from 1 to first day to fourth day okay so it is blood bloody with fleshy odor option b is the correct answer leukemia rubra next is leukemia serosa it is from fifth day to ninth day and it is yellowish or pink or pale brownish in nature next is leukemia alba it is pale white in color from 10th day to 15th day okay that is leukemia ru- rubra zerosa and alba here correct answer is option b move on to the next question question number 31 tumors within cella tunica and small adenomas of the pituitary glands can be removed through options option a transspinoidal approach option b craniotomy option c supratendoral approach option d infratendoral approach tumors within the cella tunica and small adenoma of the pituitary glands can be removed by using transspinoidal approach option a is the correct answer move on to the next question the level of care which is oriented towards the promotion and maintenance of health the prevention of community disease the management of con- common episodic disease and the monitoring of stable or chronic condition is options option a primary care level option b tertiary care level option c advanced care level and option d secondary care level promotion and maintenance of health and prevention of disease is mainly in the level of first that is primary care level option a is the correct answer promotion and maintenance of health and prevention of disease is coming under primary care level move on to the next question question number 33 when considering the principles of growth and development remember that options option a all children should grow in the same rate 
all four years old should weigh with four kg of each other option b development occurs evenly with period of no growth occurring every third year option c although development occurs in an orderly sequence the rate may vary between individuals option d most children can run before they walk our question is which statement is correct based on the principles of growth and development it is option c although development occurs in an orderly sequence the rate may vary between the individuals okay development occurs in in a sequence but the rate of growth may varies between individuals that is the correct answer option c question number 34 the drug of choice to treat bulimia nervosa is options option a antidepressants option b iv glucose 10 percentage option c benzodiazepine option d thiamine iv and the correct answer is it is antidepressant option a is the correct answer next is question number 35 a repetitive uncontrollable thoughts and acts example rituals rigidity flexibility is termed as options option a obsessive compulsive disorder option b ritualistic behavior option c apprehension option d phobias our question is repetitive and uncontrollable thoughts and act is known as ocd obsessive compulsive disorder option a is the correct answer and the next question question number 36 the brain region which is responsible for coordination of voluntary muscular movement posture and balance is options option a medulla oblongata option b cerebellum option c cerebral cortex option d spinal cord coordination of voluntary muscular movement posture and balance is the function of cerebellum option b is the correct answer and the next question question number 37 approaches to health is that acknowledges and respect the interactions of a person mind body and spirit within the environment is termed as options option a clinical model option b health belief model option c holistic health model option d high level wellness model and the correct answer is it is holistic health model option c is the correct answer On to the next question, question number thirty-eight. In the liver, bacteria that found their way into portal circulation is destroyed by options. Option A, Kuffer cells. Option B, hydrochloric acid. Option C, leukocytosis. Option D, cilia. And the correct answer is it is by Kuffer cells. Kuffer cells helps to remove viruses, bacteria, and particular foreign bodies from the liver. And the next question, question number thirty-nine. The main signs and symptoms noticed in a patient with achalasis is options: option A, hypertension; option B, dysphagia; option C, butterfly rash; option D, joint pain. Achalasis or achalasia is a esophageal motility disorder. The main signs and symptoms noticed in the patient with achalasis is dysphagia. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question, question number forty. Inborn errors of metabolism are the following. Except options: option A, cystic fibrosis; option B, Turner syndrome; option C, phenylketonuria; option D, Tay-Sachs syndrome. Here the question is: which one is not a inborn errors of metabolism? It is Turner syndrome. Option B is the correct answer. It is one of the chromosomal abnormality. And the remaining all are example of cystic fibrosis, phenylketonuria, Tay-Sachs syndrome disease. All are inborn errors of metabolism. Move on to the next question. Question number forty-one. The most common method of microorganism transfer from one person to another in the hospital setting is prevented by options. Option A: filtering air in the hospital. Option B: washing hands thoroughly and frequently. Option C: disinfecting instrument in the special solutions. Option D: changing bed linen daily. We can prevent transfer of microorganism from one person to another person in the hospital settings is by washing the hands thoroughly and frequently. Option B is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number forty-two. One cardiac cycle completes in options. Option A: point five seven second. Option B: point one two second. Option C: point nine second. Option D: point eight second. Normal. One cardiac cycle complete in point eight second. Option 
D is the correct answer. The next question is number 43. Birds on the unit have rapidly filled and the patient with bacterial pneumonia is about to have a roommate. The roommate is post-surgical patient without an infection. The nurse would. Options. Option A. Notify the admitting office that the new patient cannot be housed with a patient under droplet pneumonia. Option B. Not to worry because this room has its own air filtration system. And option C. Simply prepare the unit for the arrival of the new patient. And option D. Make certain that the curtains around the new patient's bed are functional and completely closed. And the correct answer is. We should notify the admitting officer that new patient cannot be housed with patient under droplet pneumonia because infection can spread easily. Move on to the next question, question number 45. The elderly individual is at greater risk for dehydration than the middle-aged adult because... Options. Option A. Compensatory mechanism works less efficiently. Option B. The elderly have more muscle mass. Option C. Their bodies are almost 80% water. Option D. The elderly drinks little fluid. Our question is, elderly individual or older people is greater risk for dehydration than middle-aged because the compensatory mechanism work less efficiently. Option A is the correct answer. And the next question, question number 46. The commonest drug which is administered during an anaphylactic reaction is Options option A diuretic, option B antibiotic, option C anticonvulsant, option D injection epinephrine. The drug which is given during anaphylactic or allergic reaction is epinephrine. Injection epinephrine option D is the correct answer. And the next question, question number 47. The person who becomes short of birth with, with little exertion such as when eating a meal has what kind of respiratory condition our options option a dyspnea option b hyperventilation option c strider option d can stroke respiration person has shortness of birth is seen in dyspnea option a is the correct answer and the next question, question number 48, a ganglionic disease of the intestinal tract which causes inadequate motility is termed as. Options, option A, Crohn's disease, option B, ulcerative colitis, option C, Herspings disease, option D, diverticular disease. A ganglionic disease of the intestinal tract which causes inadequate motility is Herspings disease. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question, question number 49. Which of the following would not promote trust in the nurse-patient relationship? And there are options. Option A, fulfilling promises. Option B, maintaining confidentiality. Option C, examining a wound without providing privacy. Option D, returning at the stated time. Our question is, among this, which will not provide or which will not promote trust in the nurse-patient relationship? Correct answer is examining a wound without providing privacy. Always we should give or we should provide privacy to the patient while doing procedures. And the next question, question number 50. Standard precaution requires the use of protective eyewear when? Options. Option A. Inversive procedures are performed. Option B. There is a danger of body fluid splashing. Option C. When a wound is oozing blood. Option D. Caring for a patient with cough. Our question is when we should use or when we should require a standard precaution like protective IVR. And the correct answer is if there is a danger of body fluid splashing. In order to prevent the fluid come in contact with eyes, we should use protective IVR. And during invasive procedure, no need to use IVRs and when a wound is oozing blood, there is no need to use IVR. So in case of cup also, we are not using IVRs. But in case of body fluid splashing, we, can, we have to use standard precaution like protective IVR. And the next question, question number 51. The classical substances that increases the sensitivity of pain receptors by enhancing the pain provoking effect of bradykinin is... Options. Option A. Nociceptor. Option B. Encephalin. Option C. Endorphins. Option D. Prostaglandins. 
and the correct answer is it is prostaglandin option d is the correct answer and the next question question number 52 nurse use the nursing process as a method of options option a communicating with patient and families option b meeting public expectations of nurses option c planning organizing and delivering patient care option d meeting the legal requirements and standards in nursing the nursing process are used in for planning organizing and delivering patient care option c is the correct answer and the next question question number 53 behavioral clues of impending suicide are as follows except options option a withdraws from so social activities and plans option b become energetic after a period of severe depression option c gives away valuable possessions option d hyper vigilance and exaggerated startle response and the correct answer is it is option d hyper vigilance and exaggerated startle response and the next question question number 54 a clinical sign that a patient is close death would be and there are options option a nausea that occurs after meals option b periods of apnea and irregular respirations option c pain that is well controlled with small doses of morphine option d increasing bp pulse and respiration our question is clinical sign that a patient is close to death would be period of apnea and irregular respiration option b is the correct answer and the next question question number 55 cardiogenic shock is precipitated by options option a bacteremia option b spinal cord injury option c myocardial infarction option d severe allergy cardiogenic shock is precipitated by myocardial infarction option c is the correct answer and the next question question number 56 hba1c indicate post serum glucose level over previous options option a 6 month periods option b 2 months period option c 1 month period option d 3 months period hba1c of post serum glucose level over a period of 3 months option d is the correct answer and the next question is question number 57 potential adverse effect of surgery and anesthesia are as follows except options option a myocardial depression bradycardia and circulatory collapse option b thrombosis from compression of blood vessels or stasis option d dehydration and electrolyte imbalance option d malignant hypothermia or hypothermia our question is which one is not a potential adverse effect of surgery and anesthesia it is dehydration and electrolyte imbalance option c is the correct answer and the next question question number 58 para is defined as options option a total number of pregnancies option b born from beginning of 38 to 42 weeks option c number of past pregnancies gone beyond period of viability option d any pregnancy terminate before period of viability para the term para means number of past pregnancies gone beyond period of viability option c is the correct answer And the next question question number 59 the main causes of genital warts is options option a human papilloma virus option b neisseria gonorrhea option c herpes simplex virus option d pelvic inflammatory disease genital warts or condylometa acuminata the causative organism is human papilloma virus option a is the correct answer And the next question question number 60 progressive thinning and shortening of cervix is termed as options option a contraction option b expulsion option c effacement option d dilation progressive thinning and shortening of the cervix is known as effacement option c is the correct answer friends here we discussed previous year questions and answers today we completed up to 60 questions remaining 30 questions are there that we can see in the next video